So welcome fellow problem solvers, my name is Johan Oosthuizen and today we're talking about trees. No, not real trees, factor trees and factors in mathematics. So stay tuned to see how that one grows in your mind. So share, like and subscribe and let's let it grow. Hi problem solvers, so yes we are still on the topic of whole numbers. So but I want to divide whole numbers into the following three categories. But first of all, let's look at what a factor is about. A factor is a number that divides exactly into a whole number with no remainder. So you'll remember with long division I refer to remainder. So let's look at definitions. Universal factor is just one. It's literally just the number one because it only has one factor which is itself. And in the moment we look at prime numbers, prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors. In other words, one and itself. Examples of this would be two, three, five, seven, eleven, etc. And then thirdly, let's look at composite numbers. So those are numbers with more than two factors. Examples of these will include 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, and so on and so forth. Okay, so there's some interesting properties here, but I want to use these properties to introduce you to something called a factor tree. And that is if you split a number into its prime factors. In other words, you just look at which factors are prime numbers and you uh, split that number up in terms of that. So let's look at this number called 56 as an example. And I would like to use my factor tree now to divide this into prime factors. So how do we go about this is you ask which lowest prime number can I divide 56 with. In this case, can we divide it by 2? Yes. Then we write down 2. What did the number become after we divided by 2? It became 28. Now we repeat the process. Can we divide 28 by 2? Yes, we can. What does it become after we've divided by 2? Well, it becomes 14. Now let's try this once more. Can we divide 14 by 2? Yes, we can. And it becomes 7. Is 7 a prime number? Yes, it is. So therefore, 56 is now uh, divided into its prime factors by using a factor tree. So this is called a factor tree. Another way of writing this is by saying 56 is equal to 2, what's that 2, times 2, times 2, times 7. And these are our prime factors. As you can see, all of them are factors and prime numbers at the same time. 